How to treat tapeworm in cats. Every responsible cat owner should worm their cat regularly. However, what many owners do not realize is that cats can be infected with two different species of worms, roundworms and tapeworms. If you think your cat has tapeworms, make an appointment with your vet to get your cat the proper medication. Identifying tapeworm in cats. Understand what tapeworms are. As the name suggests, tapeworms are long flat worms. They can reach up to 60 centimeters in length, and are a creamy white color with flat segments along their length. The tapeworms attach firmly to the lining of the bowel wall, so it is unusual to see an adult worm unless the cat has had a worming treatment. It's much more common to see tapeworm egg packets on the cat's fur, especially near the anus. Look for white, rice-like objects in the cat's fur. When a tapeworm reproduces it fills special segments, called proglottids, which contain thousands of tiny eggs. The adult tapeworms shed these egg packets into the bowel lumen where they migrate out of the cat's anus. The proglottids are about the size of a grain of rice in a similar shape. If you see a white rice-like object on the cat's fur then it is highly likely he has tapeworms. Bring a sample to the vet for testing. If in doubt, stick the egg packet to a piece of cello tape, tear of a 6 inch length of sticky tape, and touch the adhesive side to the object, then stick the tape to a piece of card to show to your veterinarian. Know that a cat with a flea infestation is highly likely to have tapeworms. There are two types of tapeworm that commonly infect the cat, and these tapeworms have different intermediate hosts. Dipolidium caninum, the most common cat tapeworm, uses fleas as its go-between. Cats with fleas are likely to develop tapeworm as immature fleas feed on tapeworm eggs and cat feces. The tapeworm hatches and develops inside the flea, the intermediate host, and when the cat grooms and swallows the flea, her digestive juices crack open the flea's body and release the larval form of the tapeworms. Thus, regular flea control is essential to prevent and control tapeworm in the cat. Understand that hunting cats are more likely to develop tapeworm. The second most common tapeworm, Tinea tineiformis, develops its larval stage inside rodents such as rats and mice. Therefore, hunting cats are more likely to be infected with this type of tapeworm. Rodents infect themselves with the larval form of tapeworm when they eat plants contaminated by cat feces containing tapeworm eggs. The tapeworm burrows into the rodent's muscles and when the cat hunts and eats the infected rodent, it will infect itself with tapeworm. Thus, hunting cats need to be wormed regularly, ideally every three to six months, 